folks, how you doing? Welcome back, it's Charlie. It is Thursday, August 29th, August 29th already, holy cow, 2019, about 8.57 in the morning. Oh no, don't make noise. <clears throat> I am in La Cañada, Flint Ridge. Ugh. Getting ready to go back to work today. Yay. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm so excited. Uh, anything to break the the monotony and the boredom of not doing a blessed thing at all. I mean, as far as being functional uh, or useful in life. But, uh, that and earning a paycheck. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind... Uh, You know, some, I know that, that like, uh, a lot of folks have suggested, well, you know, if you're bored, you know, just volunteer and stuff. Like, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit more than that. It's, it's also the matter of finance, you know, it's just right now as it is, because I'm, I'm struggling. I'm trying so hard to, um, get back on my feet and, and stand on my feet, no matter what the weather of, of life situation is, whether it's. A windy life, a gusty, or earthquake, or avalanche, or flood, or tsunami. I have to, I have to stay employed and somewhat financially secure. So, unfortunately, if it's something local or, or I mean, like local, like within Pasadena, yeah, I'll, I'll volunteer and help. But honestly, I can't, I can't afford to go back into doing just a solitary, solitary, uh, voluntary life anymore. I'd like to, but. <clears throat> You know, unless I become a millionaire or something, you know, I, I, right now I just, I can't. That's why I really, honestly, I, I haven't really focused so much about the homeless situation. I, I try, I look, I try to repost and try to reannounce news and everything, but I just, I can't get back into it like I was. It's either, it's like, it's like Mark Mark says, it's either doing the homeless thing or being employed fully. It's one or the other. And one is just as consuming of your life as the other one is. So there's no really 50-50 unless you are extremely, extremely financially secure where, you know, you're not even worried about being employed or not employed at all. So, excuse me. So... That aside, I uh, hope you guys saw the video yesterday. I um, that was like from Sunday's uh, back to Universal. Um, that was like the only thing I was able to save out of everything that I shot and recorded. Uh, I was pretty lucky that I got that. So it's uh, a damn shame because I I I had edited a really really good long video. Uh, it was almost going to be like forty minutes long. Unfortunately, but it was a really, really good video, but alas. <clears throat> so now I know I can't, with the way my, as much of a senior citizen as my, my laptop is and um, my software, now I'm starting to see that my software, is, my editing software is not so bad. It's just that as my computer is starting to age, it's not, the laptop can't keep up with uh, the demands and the desires of the of my editing program. So whenever I edit, if I try to edit film from my cell phones, it doesn't it doesn't come out. Um, and it gives you the options of how you want to format the uh, the video, whether it's MP4 or streaming or just raw footage like that. <clears throat> so it's recorded on your cell phone as an MP4, and then. I download it and I can't change it and it's not reading the information correctly because when I'm done and I'm ready to format the, the video as an mp4 to be able to uh, upload it on the internet it comes out all weird it's it's like it, it tries to doubly reformat it. I don't know it's I don't know all I know is that I can only edit video and pictures uh, straight from my Nikon, so if I want to do anything 
fancy or a little extreme or whatever it is, I can only do uh, on my Nikon. So that means next time I get a paycheck, which will probably be another two weeks, I am flat broke. This is, I'm employed. I have a home. Now it's like the, now it's like, it's backwards now. <clears throat> Whereas I was fully employed, making good money, homeless, and didn't have a place to live. Now I have a job. I have a home, but I'm flat broke. Such is life, right? <clears throat> it's not one thing, it's another. Yeah, what the hell. <clears throat> I got two weeks. Um, I think I got, I think I lost track already. Holy cow. I've been off work since, what, four weeks now? It'll be four weeks on the third. You know, it's not very much time, but it is a lot for for my situation and my, my financial situation. So, yeah, I was just lucky enough that um, I had... You know, a few dollars uh, saved up to carry me over. So, <clears throat> and it doesn't behoove me like, and and I don't want to honestly to tell you the truth. I can, if I want to, go back and maybe get food stamps for like two weeks. Now they'll probably give me maybe. Actually, no, they won't give me because when I got hurt in August, they'll take my first paycheck. And apply it to the entire month and say that I make too much money and don't qualify. So yeah, that's kind of like the way they do it. So I wouldn't even qualify. I wouldn't even honestly qualify until um, September. After September 3rd, then I would qualify to get more food stamps. And it would probably be only 50 bucks. And by then, I'll probably getting my first paycheck will probably be about 50 bucks. Considering I've only worked two days, maybe 30 bucks. I think I gotta I gotta analyze the the payroll situation where it starts right now, where I'm standing right now, where we're standing right now as far as uh, uh, the pay schedule is concerned. That's funny. I'll probably only have to hit something. <clears throat> uh, but. Yeah, I, 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 that was the only thing I was able to upload, so, <clears throat> um, I was actually able to, I went through my, my, I have a little tin where I, I deposit all my change, and, um, <coughs> excuse me, I am one to accumulate a lot of change, thank goodness, because, uh, all those, all those coins end up saving my butt for a day or so. So, um, I went to go do laundry yesterday and uh, I bought a, a cheap four pack of 99 cent batteries at the 99 cent store. And, uh, they're not very powerful, but they'll get me uh, maybe one or two days worth of video shoots because the camera really sucks up a lot of, a lot of power. Ah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, going back to work and being employed, and I know how you folks have heard me that I would like to get a job and everything. The economy is really, really topsy-turvy right now. I mean, I'm sure you all agree. If you are as apprehensive as I am, I don't know what kind of a decision to make right now, given our situation in this country, economic-wise and everything. Not so much as political. Yeah, well, the political is affecting our economy greatly. But, um, no. And then this morning when I was watching Channel 5 News, I saw that, uh, I, this one I was not too surprised. Just given this company's history and everything and the way they, they came to America. God, I'm loving my cheap coffee this morning. Excuse me. Forever 21 filed for bankruptcy. Uh, today, but it's not uh, certain whether they're going to close any stores or, or not. My best guess will most certainly they're going to close uh, stores. They just built one maybe two, three years ago at the Paseo, a really nice one, a big one. And they actually gutted and combined two storefronts 
one on the Garfield entrance and one on the Colorado entrance, and they combined that and they made it in, into a huge uh, clothing store. But um, yeah, K uh, did you folks know that Forever Twenty One is the Kmart of Europe? Yeah. So when they came out here, it was really trendy. That's why their clothes are kind of um, not really, really good. Really cheap and chinzy. They're stylish as heck, yeah. Very trendy, and that's the market, you know, is the young people and everything, so. I can't even, honestly, I can't even find a pair of jeans in there that fit me. And when I did two, uh, one time, I think that was at Sammy the Mall? No, no, that was at the Paseo. A pair of jeans is like 60 bucks. F that. F that. I ain't paying no $60 for no jeans. Uh, perfectly perfectly content with just Levi's or Wranglers. <clears throat> so they file for for 11 and we'll see what happens. Um, I've just been watching a lot of retail trends and this is, I don't think this is going to be a very good holiday shopping season. Uh, one of the good things that Disney and Target uh, partnered up, so about 60 stores across the country are going to have uh, miniature Disney stores. So Disney's really going out all, all this year, um, especially after D23 and their announcements. Um, Disney is really steamrolling into the future for the next uh, 10 years. Uh, full force. Uh, totally hauling butt. And... Uh, If they do it correctly, I mean, Disney's pretty, pretty intelligent, but, um, I mean, they've made mistakes, especially with that steampunk stuff they did in the 80s. Ugh. That was, that was like the biggest mistake. But, um, yeah, they're, they're going to be partnering up. They partnered up with Target, so 60 stores across the country in, starting this year and going into next year. Uh, are going to have miniature uh, Disney stores, which is kind of cool. Uh, someone put out the list of some of the stores. I think there's going to be uh, the closest one here for this year is going to be in Murrieta, Murrieta, California, I believe. Um, I didn't see our store, and honestly, I don't think our store, given our format, we're a little, we're a little too tiny to um, to have a Disney store and to have a miniature Disney store. Even our our seasonal section is very small, and that's like two aisles. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Our home and hearth and whatever is a small, small section because we have a lot of people that ask us, well, where's your home and hearth? Well, it's right there. That's it? Yes. We're Target Express. We don't carry very much. Sorry. So, we'll see. And another thing for me really switching jobs is right now more than ever it, it's really really oh God. And I'm just I'm just anxious to jump to a new job something but everything is kind of predicated right now on the home on the housing so let's say I do get a job I get another job and I it's in Pasadena and then housing calls me up or lets me know hey Charlie we, we've got some places below. But it's in L.A., 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 and it's like, wow. <clears throat> then to move to L.A. and then commute back into Pasadena is just, it's just really, really difficult. I know you folks are, understand and totally agree with what I mean. Sometimes life situations are really predicated on a big decision. That you're waiting to hear, what whatever it may, whatever it may be, that's that's kind of how it is for me right now. I'm I'm kind of limbo like right now. I really really want to get something. Else. And trust me, it's not it's not work. I I love working for this company. I love my coworkers here. I love my management staff. Everybody, my HR people, everybody here is just fantastic. I wish, I seriously wish that I could find 
another place with that in Pasadena. You have no idea. This 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 is a great place to work. You know, I I I love working at Target, and, and especially working at this store in this format is just like awesome. But I don't know what's what's gonna happen. Target, I'm not worried about Target. Uh, really having any financial problems in the near future. They're they're really fighting. They are fighting to stay, um, to keep afloat. And they're doing a good job. Walmart, on the other hand, is, <coughs> I think, out of everything, uh, close to what Amazon has started just a few years ago, I think, I think sometime pretty much within the first quarter of 2020, uh, we might hear something from ants falling from the tree. We might hear something from uh, Walmart. Um, yeah, they're really, and they're they're trying really hard. Like Target is doing their um, drive up situation or whatever. I think Target's or uh, Walmart's done the same thing. You do ordering through them and in store or delivery. I think there's a minimum of at least thirty dollars. Whereas we don't have a minimum. It doesn't matter even if you order a, a pack of gum and park, you know, and we'll have someone walk out to your car and give you a pack of gum, you know, it's, it's yeah, so, uh, right now, I think also, uh, a lot of businesses, utility companies, banking situations, and uh, credit card companies are going to have to reassess their, and it is a, it is a tax of sorts, their taxation of uh, the common uh, American in the sense of fees. The greatest thing and our greatest enemy in this country now, God, where did all this stuff come from? We are being feed to death. ATM. You go to the store. Fees everywhere. There's, there's fees. I think a lot of businesses are going to start to reassess that. Definitely, it should start with the banking institutions. They need to set a good example because uh, last time I had my, my Wells Fargo's when Holly and I were still married, I used to go to the one in uh, Arcadia, <clears throat> right there off of uh, Colorado. And I was getting feed like crazy. And I remembered, I, I just... I went from, from Bank of America to Wells Fargo because B of A was starting to feed me like crazy out the door. And I remember I just ended up closing my Wells Fargo account. I just, I, I could not, I could not understand where all these fees were coming from. And I just, I didn't want to fight it. And I just, it was cheaper to just live cash in pocket instead of having it in somewhere. So. But <clears throat> had I had we really known about Green Dot and Green Dot had existed, I think uh, if we'd have done our homework, we would have probably switched over to a Green Dot banking account. It's, it's only about five six dollars a month, um, but like right now with my bank right now, I have a PayPal account, so I have direct deposit. So and and I love PayPal. I really love PayPal. Is really been good to me for these past couple of years. So. I'm just thankful for, for, for uh, PayPal. It's just been awesome. But yeah, I, like I said, I can't really make a a move. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, all I'm doing is putting up applications and trying to find out. And then I saw this morning that uh, Chick Fil A is gonna try to open up another store in Pasadena, which is cool. I I try to apply for Chick Fil A. I wouldn't mind working for Chick Fil A. What the heck? It's definitely closer here and well in Pasadena, but it would be a great benefit for me. Uh, it's fast food. It's not fine dining. Uh, the pay would still be about the same, if not maybe a little bit more. Um, and depending on what the hour situation, I'm, I'm not going to just accept a job. I I want to know. Before I accept a job, what am I going to expect to get hours? What 
are the minimum, minimum and maximum hours that you have to offer to employees. That's that's my big thing because I don't want to switch a job and just assume that I'm going to get a straight 35 or 40 hours a week and I'm only getting 20, 25, and then I'm back to square one. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I'm closer, but still, I just... I'm just an old-fashioned guy. I'm just I'm used to working at least at the minimum of at least eight hours a day, you know. So yeah, I just and like I've said this in the past, it seems employment or retail or whatever is has gone from an eight-hour workday down to like six or five and a half-hour days. Where did that come from? How are how are we supposed to? make ends meet on a work day that only lasts five and a half hours and I've seen this I think uh, some of our cashiers get them almost a minimum maximum of four four and a half hours so it's just retail and employers are just so weird you know but I'm I'm looking I'm looking definitely close to home um, that's like my first priority, definitely close at home, but gosh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta know what's going on with housing. It's, it's everything right now, you know, and it, it's kind of bogging me, but if I had an inclination of a possibility of something open up, where I'm going to go, but yeah, it's, you know, that's just, it's, it's a, it's a waiting game. It's like fishing, you know, you, you bait your hook, you throw your line out there, and you got your bobber out there, and you just you gotta wait. You gotta, and you gotta keep watching. You don't don't look away. Don't admire the trees, the squirrels, or the deer, or whatever. Keep your eye on the bobber because you get a little nip, and that's when you yank and jump to it. You know, reel in that fish. So right now, it's the housing is kind of like me fishing. I got my bobber out there and everything, and I'm just waiting for a bite. <clears throat> and yes, I know how to fish. I've been fishing. I'm a beach boy, so. Yeah, that's about it. Um, the cast. This, this bloody thing, I uh, should be able to do, a, do away with it this weekend. I have another meeting tomorrow morning. With a caseworker about my paperwork. And I go back to work Monday. Monday's Labor Day. I didn't even realize it was Labor Day until I started seeing the news. And I'm like, oh, shoot, Labor Day. Wow. I kind of have a thing with Labor Day 2005. That's pretty much the weekend I ended up in moving to Las Vegas. I didn't even realize. It, I was just so disheveled and... I'll get into that story some other time. I was just so distressed and everything. I remember when I got off the bus from El Monte to Vegas. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, oh, it's great. You know, I'm so tired on the bus ride. And uh, I didn't realize. Like, the first place that I went to go check in to a motel, I was like, well, how much is it? It's like, how much? I thought, what happened to 35 $27 rates. Well, you know, given that it's the holiday weekend, I go, holiday Labor Day. I'm like, oh, shoot. So everything, you know, you know how Vegas is and everything is on the on the holidays. Everything jumps up at least 30 40%, if not an extra 50%, just, just because of that. So just like Pasadena, when we get a large venue at the Rose Bowl, hotel prices jump up so dramatic. But that's about it, my friends. So definitely this baby comes off this weekend, thank goodness, and I should have about another two more weeks of light duty, get released and go back to just doing what I was doing. So, And hopefully I could hear some news, some serious news about housing. The sooner the better, then that way I can make a decision as to what, where and what I want to go and do next for employment. But that housing's got to come first. It's got to, it's got to come first. First and foremost, coming up on January, and that's when the program closes down on our house. So, uh, 
they said that, you know, we're going to be taken care of in place and everything. I'm not too worried about that, but then again, if no housing comes and then that January comes and we're placed somewhere else, my biggest fear is where am I going to be placed? I can't really go anywhere else other than the San Gabriel area. So, yeah, that's not worried about the housing more is the location and then commuting to work, you know, so oof, a lot of what if. I was a big YouTube star, I wouldn't have to worry too much about that, right? I'd be getting paid from YouTube. I'd still be employed. I don't. I'd I'd be happy if I had like five thousand followers. I think with five thousand followers, I could be making a decent income. Where I might not even have to be employed and I can concentrate but as it is right now I, honestly I was um I didn't pay attention to I don't pay attention to my revenues I really don't so the other day uh when I uplo uploaded the second half of the video um and I was doing the editing I was checking my statistics and everything and uh looked in the little corner and I saw my accumulation for uh <laughs> for revenue and I don't, I don't even know how the revenue is going to work. Um, if they keep anything, or if they give, or what you see is what you get, or if it's like GoFundMe, where a certain percentage is taken out. Um, that I don't know. A fee, again, a fee. Um, so yeah, I, I looked and it was. And this is post uh, hitting a thousand mark. I don't even have enough to get a value meal at, at McDonald's, so I was just laughing. I my clicker count is just like barely clicking. Better than nothing, you know. I'm just I'm just glad that I hit my mark with all of you folks, and you stayed with me all these years. So many years now. Four years, three, four years. So I'm just more grateful for that, and you guys make me feel happy. And and yeah, I just the suggestions and your comments and everything are are more than anything else. So all right, my friends, I'm gonna end it here. I'll post this video up when I get home from work. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do this weekend. Like I said, I'm flat broke. What I have left on my tap card for, for bus fare is going to have to extend. So I'm going to be around in the Pasadena area uh, for the next couple weeks until payday and see what I get. Making videos locally. Monday. That means I'm going to have to Monday and take the bus because the shuttle doesn't run. So I'm going to have to walk up. I might have to walk Monday. To and from Orange Grove, from there to work and back. Because I don't know if the 268 is going to be running. I got to check. So Monday when I go to work, I'll, I'll be, I'll be walking. Hey, it's time and a half at least. So, yeah. all right, my friends, I'll let it go here. So as always, you folks take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other, help one another. Importantly, you take care of yourself first. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment, pull down your pants, and slide on that ice. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me, about us, what's going on, what I'm doing, and uh, just marching forward. It's hard to keep a, a willing person down. That's what I am. All right, my friends. You guys have a great day. Thursday. If you're headed out of town, be careful. Take your time. Don't get fussy. Uh, remember, half or most of the fun is the trip, not the final destination. So, All right, folks. I will talk to you tomorrow. I love you all. Take care. Bye.